All right. Hey, everyone. We are back with iPad Dave, the technology therapist. Hey, Dave, how are you? I'm doing great, Jennifer. Thanks Good. for having me. Well, we got like a lot of great tips from you last time, and I know you have a class coming up, and we're hoping that you can give us some iPad tips today. Yeah. Will you? Absolutely. <laughs> I'd be happy to share. <laughs> awesome. What is your class that you have coming up right now? So I have an online course specific, okay. specifically designed for real estate agents called mm -hmm. iPad OS Productivity Accelerator uh, for real estate agents. Nice. And really what this is, is it's featuring all the new features on the iPad that have really turned the iPad into a super productivity machine way more than it used to be in the old days. Yeah. When it was just really like a big iPhone is really what it was. Right. But now it's really turned into almost like a laptop, uh, very close to it. So productivity uh, features on there have exploded as far as value for real estate agents. And in the training, I walk you step by step through how to use these new features and apply them in your business so you can work more efficiently. And then take the iPad that you bought and you spent that and you made that investment on it. Right. And you actually get something out of that investment instead of just reading your emails and and maybe occasionally doing a, a hand signature on it. So maybe, uh, but that, I mean, you're hitting it like right on the head. Like Alan uses his iPad all the time. He uses it for presentations and like, I can, I cannot grasp cause it is just like a big phone. So I think it'll be cool to learn these features. And then maybe Alan, I had to give Alan my iPad. He took it from me because I was going to smash it. So maybe <laughs> Alan, you can give it back to me later. <laughs> You know, I love what you just said there, Jennifer. Um, you said, I was so frustrated with it, I didn't even want to use it. Right. And that's another reason why I wanted to make this course, because it's such a really nice tool. Yeah. And it can be applied so many different ways in business. People just don't understand that or don't have the time to understand it. Right. So what I wanted to do is create a simple training to walk you through those steps of how to use it in that manner so you don't take it and chuck it throw it well you really helped me with my phone last time so i don't i'm sure a lot of people i know a lot of people saw that video so i know this will help us <laughs> all right well let's do a tip yeah let's do a tip so alan you are an ipad user and one of my questions is you know when you're using the mail app on your ipad Many times you need to refer to another email message while you're creating an email message. Mm -hmm. And how it used to be on the iPad and iPhone itself is you would have to go into one message, open it up, read it. Now, if you needed content, you would have to highlight it, copy and paste, hope you have it, then go to the other new message, paste it in there and bounce back and forth. You couldn't really see both messages at the same time, which is really kind of uh, inconvenient mm -hmm. and it really slows down your uh, productivity when using the mail app. Mm -hmm. One really cool tip here is now in iPad OS. Now, if you're not familiar with iPad OS, everybody out there, it's Apple creating an operating system system that's specific for the iPad. So back in the early days, Dave, don't get started on how great Apple is. Alan already tells me like every day how much he loves all of his old devices all connected <laughs> and how perfect it is. Well, yes, you're right. But <laughs> since I have iPad OS in the name of the training. We should understand what it is, right? Right. In the days, everything was iOS. So your iPhone, your iPad ran the operating system called iOS. Okay. Well, Apple wanted to say, you know what? this iPad needs to grow and mature, mm -hmm. but it can't grow and mature using the iPhone operating system. So we're going to okay. create a new one called iPad OS. All right. So one of the cool features in iPad OS is something called the split screen feature. Now what the split screen feature is, is a multitasking feature that allows you to see two apps or within an app, two documents or two mail messages in our case here at the same time. Cool. Which we couldn't do before in the iPad. So if I'm calling and I want to pull up the MLS and I want to pull up my dialer, I can do that. That was like one of my biggest hurdles because I was like, when I'm traveling, I don't necessarily want to carry my laptop, but the iPad is a phone essentially. Yeah. 
but yeah, now it's can, not. Yeah, so you can set up your iPad to sync with your iPhone. So you mm -hmm. can make calls from the iPad. Uh, you can do FaceTime calls, you can do audio calls, and you can split the screen and have your phone over here and you can have your calendar per se here. That's or awesome. you can have an MLS listing up over here. Or you could have you know, your messages app and another app open at the same time. And get cool. this, you can actually slide using a slide over feature, another app on top of those two apps. So you can have three active apps at the same time. And it's done in a real nice organized manner so you're not confused about where you're at. That's so cool. Alan, I want my iPad back. Go <laughs> to the Apple store. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Alan, how do you do it? <laughs> so Alan, let's get back to the, the mail app. And let's say we want two uh, mail messages open at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, you're going to create a new message. And when you create a new message, it's going to show up on the right hand of your screen. And you're going to see on the left hand side of your screen, all your existing messages. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of weird that I'm not showing you on screen, but I'll do my best. Yeah. Um, so you'll create a new message. Now, you want to refer to another message that's sitting over in your inbox over mm -hmm. on the left hand side. Okay. Now this is best done when you're in landscape mode. So that means that your iPad is like this instead of in portrait. That mode. makes sense because it's yeah. wider. It's got, wider. My, yeah. I've got my keypad here or my uh, keyboard. Yeah. If uh, you have your keyboard there, you can tap the hide keyboard button in the bottom right. It's got a little arrow by a keyboard. It should, should collapse it. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't go, just go away. Just let me know. And again, this is. I mean, I've got my, I've got my, my, uh, oh, my keypad oh. with my. So I just wanted you to know how I was set up here. Okay, great. <laughs> so what'll happen is you'll have your active message, and then you'll have your inbox, and you want to see one of the messages in the inbox. Well, what you can do is you can take your finger, and you can tap, hold on a message you want to refer to drag it across the screen to the far right hand side you'll see that the screen kind of splits a little bit and you'll let go and when you let go you'll see two messages up at the same time that's like how you do it on a computer too yeah. basically it's just yeah. like having two windows open on a computer right that's exactly what it is and then when you have those two messages up uh apple now allows you to let's say you wanted to grab a, a picture of a house and you wanted to take it from one message and drag it into another, you can actually tap and hold down and drag that picture over, drop it right into your new email message, and bam, you have it right there. And you don't even have to do the copy and paste. That would be really good for um, like inspections and stuff, I think. Yes. yes. So that's, that's an excellent way of doing that. Or maybe you've got a message from, uh, a team member that you need to share with a client or right. the other uh, real estate agent that you're Yeah, we were just dealing with that, like pictures of receipts and stuff like that. So that would yeah. be perfect. Cause That'd you could do like, you can get your texts on there too. So you could do like your texts and then the, your email and drag it over, I assume, right? Absolutely. That is yeah. so cool. So you can drag and drop not only photos, but you can drag and drop attachments. You can drag and drop, drag and drop text, so if you have a block of text, you're like, ooh, I need this. Well, you could copy and paste and paste it back over there. Well, why not just highlight it, press, hold, drag, drop it over there, bam, it's over there. So do you think that with the way that they're doing this now and these new features on the iPad, you could like get rid of your laptop? You know, as the iPad is maturing, I do work with agents that do not have a laptop. Wow. Everything is done. It would be so much easier just to have an iPad, like especially traveling around. Yeah, it is. It is so much easier. And by the way, with iPad OS and iOS, it now supports mouse interaction, Bluetooth mouse. So not only can you have a Bluetooth keyboard, but you can actually have a Bluetooth mouse and actually navigate if you really like using a mouse. Because a lot of people say, well, I don't like touch and drag it in. I'm old school. Yeah. Well, you could or my uh, mouse to my iPad. Yeah. You do too. Mm -hmm. So you That's could awesome. take that mouse and with a Bluetooth connection, connect in as well. And oh my gosh. Way, 
in that training, I, I talk about how you connect uh, external devices, including, and I don't have one right here, but a little flash drive. Mm -hmm. So everybody's used to popping a flash drive in their computer, copying some, and then hand it to someone else, which we really shouldn't have to do anymore. Right. Uh, because, yeah. But if you wanted to make a backup or store something, um, you can now put a flash drive into your iPad, copy over files, and then save it on there. It could be pictures. It could be files. Um, you can export uh, movies as well, right to the flash drive and have a backup right there locally. I feel like every time I talk to you, like I learn all this cool technology and for you, it's like one quick tip. Like this class is probably full of like so many, but like I would need to take a break. Like every single time my head's like. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you said that because what we did or what I did in the training is I created these short little, uh, I call them missions. Okay. Or little training modules. Okay, so each module is a mission. So you learn something new and it's like That's five to cool. 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes at the most. It's not a long time. That's so much easier. Let me open up for the, um, I got the link for the class. Can you see that? I can see that. Yeah. Okay. So this is where we would go to sign up. Yeah. So this is the landing page of the course. Okay. Um, and this kind of gives you a little more detail about the course. And you'll see right there, it's the iPad OS Productivity Accelerator for real estate agents. Your mission is to understand and apply new and enhanced features of the I in iPad OS that will transform the way you work and boost productivity. And I'm saying 10 times, I bet it's 10 times. Oh, I bet it's way more than that. Because even like with the tips that you've given me, like thus far, the couple of times that we've talked, it's been... A lot more efficient. Yeah. In fact, some of the people who have gone through the course, some of the reviews is, you know, that one tip that I learned in module six was right. well worth the price of this course. So you're saying it's, you divide it up into like five or 10 minute little missions. Yep. That's really cute. You feel like yep. you're accomplishing something and you're not like overwhelmed. Absolutely. And it's self-paid. So you don't have to sit there and listen to me for three hours going through something. It would be but way too much. <laughs> At the end, your head is just like, poof. Right. And you're not going to remember all that anyways. So you can go at your own pace. And there's no time restriction where I say you have one week and that's it. You're going to learn. You can come back and come back and come back. Well, and I like how it seemed like every time too, it's, it's um, you have, you can talk to people like me who know nothing about computers. And then you can talk to people like Alan who invented the internet. <laughs> so it's like all different levels of people. Yes, you know, it's designed for both. So if you're a newbie and you have an iPad or you haven't used your iPad in a while and you want to start using it for business, it's a great start. If you are a more advanced user, mm -hmm. as you go through the training, there are tons of features in there you probably have never even seen on your iPad or were not aware of, and you're definitely going to get a lot out of this. So well, it's yeah, really even that tip there, Alan, what did you think about that? No, I think that's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll be really helpful. It's yeah. another reason why your Apple stuff is great. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you scroll down a little bit, I'll just show you uh, what we have here. And if uh, you take a peek at uh, your five to 10 minute mission modules. Okay. And if you click on that, these are all the different things um, that are newer to the iPad that most agents are not aware of. Okay. And how these new features are going to help them be more productive, multitask way better than before, and really use this, your iPad as an actual laptop based uh, device. That's so, amazing. Again, these are five to 10 minute modules. I take you through, I have fun with you. Uh, you get a chance to practice in there and learn these. And again, if you walk away with just one thing that would make, uh, would help you save time, let's say you save 10 minutes a day from one tip, well, you yeah. multiply that over the year, it's well worth uh, the price of the course. Right. And this is like, seems like it'll make it your process, our process, like more efficient too. You know, like we're already using the iPad for presentations and now it's like, it's just a lot more mobile too. You know, like in your car, sometimes I have to pull out my laptop to do something, but now it can be done on the iPad. Absolutely. You know, Jennifer, everything from having two apps or two documents open at the same time or streamlining how you uh, take a 
say you take a screenshot, which you can now of a web page, and you can save it as a PDF and you can mark it up or annotate it right on yeah, the spot. That's cool. Right on the spot and then save it as a PDF or share it out with a client or team member. It's super that's easy. That's so do. useful. It is useful. Or let's say you have a form and you want to quickly highlight areas that you want someone to sign. Mm -hmm. So it can quickly uh, uh, open up the PDF highlight areas, right? You don't need a special app to do this. It's built right now into the iPad OS and you can do that. In fact, I show this in the email module. If you have a PDF that was emailed to you, you can open that up in the mail app, annotate it, and then forward it off right to somebody without nice. ever using the mail app. Do you know how to do that, Alan? No, I don't know how to do it. That's well, cool. I think, Alan, we need to get you into this training <laughs> and learn how to do this. This is so cool. So then also, too, if people, um, when does, so they can start at any time, right? Because it's yeah. self-paced. Okay, so they just need to go. Um, I'll, we'll put the link in the comments. And then they just need to click the Get Started Now, fill out the information, pay, and then they'll get the access, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Is there a way to, like, if they have questions, what's the best way to contact you? Yeah, so if you have questions, uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me That's on- That's where Facebook. we found you. Yes. <laughs> uh, LinkedIn, I'm on there uh, quite uh, often. Um, I do have a YouTube channel, and some of these tips that I'm trying to explain <laughs> yeah. to you right now, I actually have up on YouTube. So cool. uh, if you just want to even test drive and look at some of these tips, head up to my YouTube channel. You can search for me, Dave Rebro, R-E-B-R-O on YouTube. Um, you can also search for iPad Dave or iPad Expert Dave. You'll find my channel up there. You'll see all my videos up there. Uh, some great stuff. Uh, even if you don't even want to take the training, go up there and you'll have plenty of stuff up there to learn from as well. So That's hopefully awesome. you come visit me in the training. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Well, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. And Alan, thanks for being our uh, iPad uh, guru. Guinea pig. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. See ya. Bye.